The manhunt is over. The man accused of shooting a six-year-old and her parents was located nearly 600 miles from their North Carolina town. Robert Lewis Singletary surrendered yesterday without incident in Florida. Witnesses say the 24-year-old opened fire Tuesday night after an argument over a wayward basketball. News Nation's Marky Martin joins us live. So, Marky, what is next in this case? Hey, Nicole, yeah, this manhunt thankfully coming to an end last night. As you mentioned, this is a man who has been wanted for allegedly shooting a six-year-old child, a six-year-old girl and her parents after this group of neighborhood kids went on to his property chasing a basketball that had rolled onto his yard. And last night, police finally locating him in Florida. Tonight, the search is over for Robert Singletary after turning himself into authorities near Tampa. The 24 year old, the center of a manhunt from North Carolina to Florida after reportedly shooting six year old Kinsley White and her parents when neighborhood kids went to retrieve a basketball that had rolled into Singletary's yard. She's really been scared to go to sleep. Kinsley and her mom Ashley joining News Nation's Ashley Banfield to recount those horrific moments. Some kids are playing basketball and the ball accidentally rolled in the yard and he had a gun and he started to shoot somebody's dad and then he went back inside and got a different gun. And then he shot my daddy and then he shot me. The bullet lodged in the little girl's cheek. Her mom was grazed by a bullet and her dad remains in the hospital with a punctured lung and broken ribs after being shot in the back. And then we're going to Robert Singletary. Singletary appearing for his first court appearance today where he signed a waiver of extradition to return to North Carolina. And Nicole, when you ask what is next, Singletary is being held without bond and his extradition from Florida back to North Carolina where these shootings took place is scheduled for sometime this weekend. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.